if you're making an image and it's complicated and it's a big drawing, think about what you can remove. How do you get to the point real quick, real straightforward? Do not concern yourselves with what other people are going to think or if other people are going to get it. The way to find something really good is just to play, let things happen. You would be best to stop drawing, stop making, and sit and think about what you want to say because that's the important part. Nobody cares what it looks like. I don't care about what it says. So maybe you go for a walk and think about what you want to say. What's my opinion? What do I think about this? You're so used to being, you know, going straight to going straight to making. And making is a good primer, jump start to thinking. Having a, having, a, having a map to where you want to go, having some thought is a good shortcut. Because my first question, when we start looking at these things, my first question is going to be, what do you want to say? And the thing that's funny is, when I do say, when I get to the point I say, hey, what do you want to say? What happens is, and what comes out of you is actually fairly, fairly beautiful. But then when we look at the, what you've put on paper, there's like this, this disconnect, you know, it's like an old camera where you're trying to focus and trying to pull these two things, you know, tighter together. And what you want to say is actually a lot simpler to put on paper than what you've done. So make sure you have an opinion first. Make sure you have something to say. This is how, this is how you get to creative thinking. This is how you get to interesting places. There is a chance that some of you may not know love. So what would your answer be? Teach your tongue to say, I don't know. Think about it. Not to be cheesy, but we think you're great. Much love. Oh my God. That's awesome. Thank you guys. I am honored and uh, 